What's up y'all? I'm in my veg tent and uh, somebody asked me to make a video on how I made my fog pond cloner again. I made a video before but this is version 2.0 so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the all the parts of this thing but uh, and the main key ingredient got added this time which is what makes it almost a hundred percent success rate instead of uh, 60 or 50 or so. But either way all I did was cut a bunch of holes with my holes. Well, obviously, I painted the top of my tote black. Cut a bunch of holes with my hole saw, and use these little one. What is this? One and a half inch neck cups, two inch neck cups, whatever it is. Each each of these is gonna hold a plant, a clone. So that's all I did. These are two. I've got two atomizers running down here. These are atomizers with floats. So these were like twenty. <laughs> Sorry, that's it right there. So it's a little atomizer and these little float rings. These were like 20 Something bucks a piece I think with the float ring or somewhere in there But I got those from a uh, house of hydro and these things are old. These are the things that haven't failed But so I've got what well, I got like eight sites on here and I used one of the holes for the um, One of the holes to run the atomizers cords in and the other hole I'm using to blast in with a fan. Uh, either way, all I put in the water, by the way, is just RODI water. I'm probably gonna throw in some, maybe some uh, cloning type stuff and also some, maybe some rapid root, uh, what is it? Whatever, some rapid root type stuff from uh, General Hydroponics, the expensive stuff, I forget what it's called. So I'm gonna throw those two things in here, just a little bit, tiny bit of it, besides just RODI water. But um, this is the setup for my, my uh, hydroponic fog sorry fog ponic cloner and uh, what made this thing work before I had this fan it was about 50 or 60 percent success rate with this fan it is about a pretty dang close to 100 percent success rate if I if I put a good clone in a spot it's pretty much gonna make roots on it pretty quick when I take the fan out that's when it gets hot inside and it gets really rough for the uh, the roots and everything else going on here because the, the atomizers inside um, they really heat this water up if you don't have some blow, uh, some cool air blowing over the top of it. So that's what's up with this thing. Version 2.0 is with a fan added. The fan is the entire key to keeping this thing right, keeping it cool inside, and making the roots grow. Getting enough water and vapor and everything blowing on the roots and making them grow. Uh, as well as blowing water and vapor on the roots, it also helps blow a little of this fog out on the actual clones, the actual plant part of it, which doesn't hurt at all either. So. A lot of upsides of this fan, but mainly just keeps everything cool, gets the, every, all the oxygen needed on the roots, and also gets a little bit of this, little bit of this uh, vapor coming up to the actual clones and gets them uh, all the uh, humidity and everything they need here in this little microclimate on top of this. But either way, that's it for this thing. I know it's super simple, it's a super short video, but uh, it's a really good one. And this is, if, if you're having problems with your cloner, Especially if you're doing fog pond and cloner, one of the problems is probably the heat inside as well as not enough oxygen getting to your roots. And this fan solves both those problems, the heat and the oxygen. This is just a two-pin fan. You can get two-pin connectors and different fans on uh, Amazon or wherever, but uh, a lot of them are waterproof, whatever. I had waterproof ones I used to hang down inside and just let them blow inside, but this is 10 times better, blowing the cool air from the room down in there and displacing the hot air, hopefully. But this is 10 times better, it's a lot faster, it's harder, and it stays out of the water. So hopefully this fan won't break down. The ones that I put inside there, they they had a limited uh, lifespan. They would get down there in that real humid air and they sooner or later they would just die. It would take like basically one one round of clones and they would die. And I was replacing a $10 fan every, every round of clones, so that wasn't worth it. So now I got this big one, I set it on top, it works good. I get my clones in here and then we'll see um, in my grow series how these clones grow, but hopefully they'll do really well. I, I, I know I'm gonna get enough. I'm only gonna need a couple, so so I'll have plenty of uh, plenty of random ones to spare that actually don't make it, or well, if they do make it, I won't need them. So all I'm gonna need is a few clones, but uh, either way, that's how this clone, fog planet cloner works. Remember the fan, that's the important key part. Obviously the atomizers are the engine getting the fog in there, but the fan is the part that makes everything healthy, so. If you guys watch this far, I appreciate you. If you got any more requests for videos on something I've done or said or talked about that I didn't go into detail or didn't show how or whatever it works, let me know and I'll work on getting those videos out. 
But if you watched this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't yet, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.